previously. Oh. Are they dead? To be. Look! Destroyed alien motherships. Welcome <coughs> to the graveyard of our creators. Hey, can I kill him yet? Relax, Eve. We're still negotiating here. <laughs> Fine. My name is Adam. The aliens you seek are no longer here. They were wiped out centuries ago by us, the machines. Wiped out? And who knows? Perhaps we'll wipe out the androids next. Um. Machines are weapons capable of evolution. We can grow. We can become aware. Eventually, the intelligence within our network began to surpass that of our creators. You'd probably be surprised at how quickly it happened. You destroyed your own creators? Oh, there's no need to fret about them. They were simple, infantile, almost like plants, I guess you'd say. They held no value to us, but the humans on the moon, now they are interesting. Why them? Because they are an enigma. They killed uncountable numbers of their own kind, and yet loved in equal measure. It's fascinating, don't you think? What could possibly drive such behavior? We have dedicated ourselves to unraveling this riddle of humanity. And now we will allow you to assist us. You were made in their image, after all. Assist you with what? It's simple. We need you to locate the humans on the moon and bring them to us. We will then dissect and analyze oh, them no. in order to drag their secrets forth into the light. Surely you see the attraction in this. Are you insane? We'd never do that! Can you believe this to be? This guy's bonkers. Well, I suppose this concludes negotiations. The only remaining oh, no. option is to destroy ah. you. The same way we destroyed these pathetic little aliens. Time grows short. This year, this is the fate that befell our creators. As for your beloved humans, I guess we'll see, won't we? Hey! <laughs> They're gone. Uh, the aliens were already dead. Yeah. We better get back to the bunker. Let's analyze them. Nope, we can't... We can get closer to analyze them. Alright. Back to the bunker it is. Back this way again? What a pain. Yep. Stop complaining. Yeah, yeah. Oh. 2B, this is Operator 60. We now have an operational transporter in the city ruins. We're attempting to deploy them at other points as well. About time we had access to those. Care to fill me in? Transporters? They let you transfer your consciousness to a temporary body back in the bunker. I heard some tech guys talking about it a while ago, but I didn't know they'd finally got it working. Anyway, I'll mark the positional data on the map. What? There they go. What? It was here a moment ago. What happened to that machine? Oh well. Uh... Hello? Check us. Hey, how's it hanging? Oh. You again. 
Your commander told me to build a new access point, so here you go. Oh, and I got the stupid transporter up and running, too. Um, thank you? I've known the commander for a while now. She sure is good at pawning work off on people. Next time you see her, give her some lip for me, will ya? So this has a transporter now, huh? Still, transporters are pretty handy. They're way faster than flight units when it comes to traveling between Earth and the bunker. Flight units also leave us open to attack, and they're expensive to operate, too. Hmm. Let's see. That information unlocked. Access teleport. Whoa. Okay. Apparently, my stuff. Okay. Like teleport. That point. Travel to other terminals. There are a lot of access points over the world, but you need to unlock them before you can use them. Quick safe. And well, yeah, we can, we can. Yay! The teleport waypoints now. We don't have to walk around there anymore. <laughs> okay. We can ask Jim for about the quest. Oh, Jean Paul. Hmm? Jean Paul. Oh, hey, you again. If you're looking for Jean Paul, you're too late. He's out on a journey. A journey, huh? Yes, he said he needed to go find himself or something. Oh, but he left a letter for you. Here. Jean Paul's letter. Beside, made a recovery. Well, he's nothing if not consistent. A weirdo right to the very end. I wonder if all his followers being female had something to do with his weirdness. Did the human sexes interact with each other like this? Who knows? Okay, transport. Distance camp. Oh, we can just go to the bunker. Yeah. That concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course, your next mission is to gather additional intel on the individual known as Pascal. You mean that freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. Well, back to, uh... We've got mail. Back to Pascal's village. Man, the commander sure is a slave driver, huh? And now we have to go back to the city ruins. Why don't we rest a little bit, 2B? It's been a while. I'll rest if I feel like it. Man, this job can be pretty rough sometimes, huh? We don't get to choose our assignments. And you should work on keeping your opinions in check. Your ha aren't allowed to be emotional, remember? I think some of us are better at that than others. Speaking of emotion, those Adam and Eve units sure seemed less than logical. I'm heading to the transporter. Fine. Oh, there is a quest. You... B? That you? Yes, but... Thank goodness. My name is 16D. My instructor, 11B, was one of your squad mates in the assault on the abandoned factory. I don't suppose she... She was shot down during the battle. I, I see. What shame. She was the closest thing I had to a mentor. She was so strong and admirable. What happened to her body? I don't know. I know it isn't my place to be asking you this. But well, if you happen to run across anything of hers, would you mind bringing it back to me? 
No priority, you're heading. Just if you have the time. Sure. I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. Oh, do we have any information about 11B's black box? Negative. 11B's black box has yet to be recovered. She was shot down near the abandoned factory, right? Hmm. 11B's memento. Right. Get over to the transporter. Go back to the oh, We can actually come here. Chain mask. Whoa! Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, she looks pretty! Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> okay. So if we use those numbers from the Resistance Camp as coordinates, yeah, we're pretty much standing right on top of whatever they're pointing to. Oh my gosh, Stone. this machine huh what for call it professional curiosity analysis this machine life forms comrades were destroyed driven by that grudge it lured a resistance member to this location it then proceeded to destroy him oh, no. are you saying this thing wanted revenge oh come on now that concept is far too complex for a machine This corpse. I wonder if it's the resistance member we're looking for. Let's check his memory. Seems this one came here looking for revenge as well. I guess the weaker one lost. <sighs> okay. Memory chip and the man's journal. Pick. Let me, let me interact with this. Okay. Uh. Okay. Let's see. I still couldn't get this one. Oh. Um, I could get it really. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. I really hate this. I'm going to feel terrible telling that woman what happened to her friend. It's the truth. She has to know. No matter what that truth actually is. Finally did! Finally! Yay! Oh, that was stressful. 
All right, jackass. Bloody hell. Bloody. Nasty. Guts strewn hell. Do you know why I just discovered? The excitement we feel in battle is caused by a type of pleasure-generating chemical produced in our circuits. Anyway, I think I can localize this substance and turn it into a drug that will help expand our combat capabilities. All these advances. And it's all thanks to you! See? I told you science was the best. Anyway, keep an eye out for that drug. Once I get it synthesized, it's all yours. Interesting. Hey, what do you do? I can't just whip out a complicated drug like this overnight. Go keep yourself busy for a while, yeah? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's report to the resistance member who lost their friend. Alright, resistance member. <laughs> you don't have a name. Hey, you're back. How did it go? Did you find him or...? Oh no... Do I tell her the truth or do I just say that I couldn't find him? Oh no... What do I do? What do I do? Oh no, I don't have the heart to tell the truth, but... Oh, at the same time, she will be given false hope if I lied. <sighs> this is a dilemma. Fine, let's tell the truth. I'm sorry, but your friend... Dad. Oh. He was trying to get revenge against the machine that killed his comrades. No. Oh no. But he wasn't strong enough, and the machine ended up killing him instead. Damn the machines! Oh. I murdered them all! Whoa, easy! It's okay, we took out the one that killed your friend. You did? Yes, we did, which means there's no need for anyone else to go seeking revenge. But what do I do now? I have no one to love, and no one to kill. I have nothing. That's not... Come on, Linus. Look, we'll come back, okay? We'll come back and check on you. Oh no, if I start another cycle of murdering machines again. <sighs> oh well. Oh, this one is pretty sad though. Oh, can upgrade this. Yes, and this too. Righto, this weapon is now level three. This is as far as we can take it here. But there are craftsmen in the world who can raise it to level four. If I met someone like that, I want you to teach me all they know. Up again. It's a preset song related to this quest here. Can we access this one? No, we can't. Let's go here before I get a, another copyright claim. <laughs> oh. Ah, the music carries on to the loading system. <laughs> To 2B. Come in, 2B. 2B here. The monitoring signal from the new access point has gone silent. I'm sending you the positional data. Please investigate the site as soon as possible. Understood. Investigation communications. Oh, there's a quest here. Ah, oh, gotcha. The resistance member. Hey, go with your hall, right? Hmm. Look, 
I know this is a bit out of the blue, but can you help me? I've got something of an emergency on my hands. Seems that some machine life forms have stolen several plug-in chips containing classified data. If they realize what they have, we're gonna be in big trouble. You have to help. You have to help me get them back. Sure. Thanks. I have to track down a total of three plug-in chips. I'll go ahead and send you a signal code so you can track them. They're all located somewhere in the city, so hopefully it won't take long. Confidential intel. Okay. Hmm. Alert. Signal code detected for missing plug-in chip. Marking approximate location on map. Oh, right there. Giant ass spaceship over there. Ow. Requested plug in ship obtained. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see them. Oh, that one just went down. Alert. Signal code detected for missing plug-in chip. It is likely in the possession of a machine life form. It uh fell down, didn't it? Ship obtained. Alert. The specifications of this plug-in ship are unusual. Oh? This chip is a model used exclusively by Yorha units. There is no reason for a non-Yorha android to possess it. A Yorha-only chip? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, plug-in chip. Alert. Incoming message from command. All units, be on the lookout for a missing Yorha in the city ruins. This unit was in possession of several plug-in chips that contain classified information. I need you to seek out whatever intel you can regarding their current whereabouts and status. Roger. Mm. Chips with classified data, is it? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh man, you already saved my bacon. I'll take those chips from you now. Garfields? Yeah... He's not one of those. Huh? Why not? You don't actually suspect me or something, do you? Come on, I need those chips. Nah. Before I give you the chips, I need you to answer a question. Do you know anything about a missing Yoha unit in the area? No. Sure. Look, just forget about the chips. See ya. <laughs> what? Come on. What? You feel like giving me those plug-in chips now? Hmm. Do I give him? Uh, I guess we have no choice. Sure. Thank you. Oh. And I know this isn't much, but please take it. Well, gravity. Well, I can trust you guys. Next time we meet, I'll be sure to introduce you to my family. Hey. Fish. <laughs> A scale and valuable. Okay. Hey, 
XDO was able to create medicine using that research you helped me with. You should try it out if you find yourself with some spare time on your hands. Later, jackass. <laughs> sounds like an... <laughs> sounds like an insulting this particular resistance member. Fish. Hey, sorry to bring things out of blue, but I've got a fish. I want to recommend to your high units. Uh, to be more specific, I want you to eat it so I can study how its oil affects your honey. You know, for science. Anywho, stop by if you're bored. It's my treat. Pascal, my friend, it feels like we haven't spoken in quite some time. As it turns out, many stores in our village have recently required a number of new items. I want to be sure that everyone from Yoha was aware of this. I would also be li I would also be delighted if you commit to memory that there are some out there who, despite being machine life forms, are willing to open their hearts and share such valuable information. Yours in friendship, Pascal. That's cute. That's adorable. Oh, since she's here, might as well just. Activate the quest. Oh yeah, I still have to give you that stupid fish. So this thing is called mackerel, and apparently eating it has a horrible effect on androids. I'll have to see what it does, so go ahead and chow down. Don't blame me if you die though. <laughs> okay. Uh, also use our key items then. Um, maybe it's caught fish. Here, just use. We ate the fish. <laughs> what? What happened? Oh no! What? Oh, we died. <laughs> we died, didn't we? Having consumed the mackerel, it didn't take long for the engine's body fluids to congeal. Muscle rig rigidity and paralysis soon followed. It was good though. The android thought as its consciousness faded. Exquisite human. No wonder humans used to eat them. Ah. <laughs> oh, there was an ending. Oh no. <laughs> We die eating a fish. <laughs> uh.